Welcome to this MicroFocus video presentation about the next generation patch management introduced in ZenWorks 2020 Update 3. This is the first video of a five video series designed to help you understand, move to, and use the next generation of ZenWorks patch management. My name is Darren Vandenbos, product manager for ZenWorks. In this presentation, I'll explain what we mean by next generation, explain the benefits and the timeline requirements for moving to the next generation patch management, and explain the version requirements for your ZenWorks servers and managed devices. 20 years ago, ZenWorks patch management started as a non-integrated standalone product that provided patch deployment to Windows, Mac, and Linux devices based on mandatory baselines. The product has seen significant enhancements over the years, including integration into the ZenWorks suite so that patching operations on devices are performed through the common ZenWorks Control Center Management Console, rules-based policies to automatically select and apply patches that meet the defined policy criteria, patching of click-to-run software applications like Office 365, dashboards to more easily determine device patch compliance and scan status, dashboards to identify and track devices software vulnerabilities based on known common vulnerability and exposure IDs. One-click application of all patches required to remediate a known software vulnerability. Why then, with continuous innovation over the years, are we calling this release the next generation patch management? The answer is simple, because we've added core level capabilities that provide major new benefits to you, our customers. This includes, faster scanning for missing patches on managed devices. In most cases, a patch scan now takes seconds rather than minutes, reducing the system resource impact on your managed devices. An even larger, actively growing catalog of patches that provides faster patching support for new applications, as well as new operating systems and versions. The ability for a content server, either a ZenWorks primary server or satellite, to request patch content that it does not have from an upstream content server at the time a managed device requests it. In other words, to request the patch content on demand. The ability for those same content servers to automatically delete patch content that has not been used for a specified period of time, providing better disk space usage on the content servers. Less patch data stored in the ZenWorks database because bundles are no longer created for each cached patch. Instead, patch content is stored as non-link content that is referenced directly by the patch policies and remediation deployments that include the patches. And while we've added these major new benefits, we've done it by maintaining the same administrative workflows in ZenWorks Control Center that you've been using for the past 15 years. These new core level capabilities are driven by two major changes in the product. First, we've introduced a new advanced patch platform. The new platform includes a new patch feed, a new patch agent for managed devices, and a new server side patch microservice. The patch feed is the online repository or CDN that contains the available patches. The patch agent is the component on managed devices that detects and remediates missing patches. And the patch microservice handles all patch related processing on primary servers. So you can see that the new platform covers everything from start, where you get the patches, to end, where you apply the patches. Second, we've introduced on demand streaming of patch content. Patch content is dynamic with new patches continually released and old patches superseded. This dynamic characteristic stresses the ZenWorks bundle system and database. The next-gen ZenWorks patch management solution utilizes the on-demand streaming functionality that was introduced in Update 3 for all content, bundles, policies, system updates, and patches. On-demand streaming provides better management of patch content within the system without using the bundle system and database as extensively. When you install ZenWorks 2020 Update 3, the existing patch solution, 
which we are now calling the Legacy Patch Platform, is still in place. This is so that you can focus on the Zenwork system update and then initiate the migration to the Advanced Patch Platform when you are ready. We encourage you to make that move to the new platform as soon as possible. Why? First, you gain all the great benefits I just covered. Second, the patch feed for the Legacy Patch Platform will be discontinued on May 31st, 2024. But there is another time-related factor that you need to also be aware of. June 1st, 2023 to May 31st, 2024 is a wind-down period for the Legacy Patch Feed. This means that you must be migrated to the new Advanced Patch Platform by your first patch subscription renewal date after May 31st, 2023. For example, if your Zenworks Patch Management su subscription renewal occurs on June 15th, 2023, you need to be migrated and using the new Advanced Patch Platform by that date. If your first renewal occurs on March 20th, 2024, you need to be migrated by that time. Regardless of your renewal date, we encourage you to move to the new Advanced Patch Platform as quickly as possible to experience the benefits of the new platform. In video three, Migrating to the Advanced Patch Platform, I'll cover the migration prerequisites in detail. At this point, however, I want to mention that in order to migrate, your Zenworks primary servers and satellites must be on at least Zenworks 2020 Update 3. I encourage you to also update your managed devices to Update 3, but any devices using older Zenworks 2020 or Zenworks 2017 agents will work fine with a couple of caveats I'll cover in Video 3. If you are not on Update 3, please visit the Zenworks version currency site for help. Thank you for joining me for this introduction to the next generation patch management. In the next video presentation, I'll cover some of the next generation enhancements that are available in Update 3, even before you migrate to the advanced patch platform. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.